the difference of squares of two numbers is 180 and the square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. So we have to find the two numbers. I will denote one number as x and the other as y and proceed in the similar way of forming a quadratic equation. The so y square minus y square is equal to 180. I will call this as equation 1. The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. Now we need to be very careful to consider which is the larger number and which is the smaller number. x will be the larger number because x square minus y square is giving me a positive value that is 180. Therefore y square is equal to 8x. The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. And I will directly put this in equation 1. Therefore, x square minus 8x is equal to 180. Therefore, x square minus 8x minus 180 is equal to 0. I will remove the factors of 180. That will be 2 into 90. That will be 2 into 45. That will be 3 into 15. That will be 3 into 5. And that will be 5 into 1. While removing the factors, go with the smallest table because if you go with the largest table there is a possibility that you may miss the required factors so now the sum should come as minus 8 and the product should, should come as minus 180 how will i get that okay as i said we have to find the factors so 3 into 3 is 9 and 9 into 2 is 18 and 5 into 2 is 10 so 18 and 10 so minus 18 plus 10 will give me the sum as minus 8 and minus 18 into 10 will give me the product as minus 180 so I have got the factors therefore x square minus 18x plus 10x minus 180 is equal to 0 Taking the terms common x into x minus 18 plus 10 into x minus 18 is equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 10 is equal to 0 or x minus 18 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 10 or x is equal to 18. I have got two choices minus 10 and 18 but can I take minus 10 as x if I take x is equal to minus 10 then 8 into minus 10 will be minus 80 and square of that something being minus 80 will give me something as a complex number y that is in the terms of iota so generally I won't consider that so I will proceed with x is equal to 18 therefore y square is equal to 8 into x that is 18 so what is 18 into 8 8 is the 64 8 1 by 8 plus 6 that is 14 so y square is equal to 144 therefore y will be under root of 144 therefore y will be plus or minus 12 but again i will consider y as positive that is 12 therefore y is equal to 12 therefore the required numbers are 12 and 18 or 18 and 12 respectively